Hello, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. Yes, I am back. I apologise that I've not been very active for the past 3-4 weeks. Like I've said in previous vlogs, I have got married now. I just bought an apartment and we moved into the apartment very recently. So you can imagine that my life has been kind of crazy the past few weeks. But things are starting to get uh, back fairly back to normal. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a video a day, frankly, but I'm going to try to obviously update you guys as much as possible with various videos. Now, as you can see, in this video I'm sat in a truck. That is because this is Formula Truck, a game that I did a quick um, video on before. Um, it's made by a company called Reza Studios, who made Game Stop Car 2012. And I'm going to do a review of this game later on when I've been playing it a bit more. But so far I'm absolutely loving it. Now this is my first um, race that I've ever done. I've, I've only really done maybe a couple of hours of practice in total in this game. So this is my first race. I'm not that great. It's so hard in this game learning how to drive a truck. I've... I've I have never raced a truck before in a game or of course in real life so it's very hard at the beginning trying to learn how to well because you basically have to brake so early it's a really big heavy machine and also it's got a lot of torque so in third gear you have to be really careful that you don't slide the back end out you know overpowering it out of corners and things but, yeah, so far I'm absolutely loving this game. So, yeah, so let's stop the waffling and let's try to get on with race number one. So this is a championship that I'm doing right now, a Brazilian Formula Truck Championship. This is the first race in Velo Park. And I started in 13th. I qualified and I qualified in 13th, which I was quite happy with. Now, I... I would also like to point out before I start the replay that I'm still learning how how I can race um, when you race with trucks. So in this race a few times I hit a couple of guys up the back end a little bit too hard. Like with trucks you, you can actually bump a lot more than you would in regular cars. But I think in this race I did overdo it a bit but I'm still learning that you know I'm... I'm I'm still learning how far I can go with that. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, so let's start the replay. So, this is a rolling start of the race. Okay. Now, I forgot that my. I had the game muted. There you go. Let's unmute it. Sorry about that. Okay, so, as you can see, my start was not too bad. There was, there was a bit of a mess going on there, and I misjudged that slightly. Now, here we go. These vehicles sound amazing, they really do. So, right now, I'm in fourth place, which I was very happy with. I believe I have the AI strength set to 93% because I'm not very good at this game yet. I think once I get a bit better, I'll set the AI strength a bit higher. But, I mean, actually, this... Whoa, <laughs> that was one example. I'm not sure that that was really a good thing for me to do, you know? I'm not sure that I'm allowed to hit that hard. I think I hit a bit too hard there. But... Um, yeah, this is actually quite a tough track, really, when it comes to um, racing a truck. I would say that this one is quite hard, this track, because as you'll see, there's quite a lot of very, very tight corners. There's quite a lot of, well, there's one particular corner with quite a long straight, with a corner, a very sharp corner. So, I... 
I was very, very happy at this point to be up. I'm up in into second right now. I'm so happy. I was feeling so good. This is actually a seven lap race. So I was really actually quite surprised that I was able to get up into second. Like I said before, I think I might have bumped and grinded a bit hard, but anyway, whatever. Now I'm, I'm feeling quite confident. Now that is one of the corners that is particularly hard. But I've managed to come out of there un unscathed. I feel like that I am keeping up with the guy who's in first, which is really good. He's he's not really getting away from me. Right now I'm I am driving quite smoothly. I'm hitting most of my braking points. I think right now I'm not that fast because I think I brake a bit early. It's so hard when you're racing a truck to get the braking points right. Um, so you'll see in this in this video that I probably am braking early just because it's so hard. You know, I think it's going to take me a longer time for me to really learn where the braking point is, you know. I'm really impressed with the graphics in this game. I mean, if you consider it's a G, a G motor, one engine, you know, the game is from G motor one, the R factor one engine. They've done a really good job. Now I think this is, yeah, there you go. So that was my big error there. I was in second place. I hit the yellow t the tire wall and then I just totally messed up. I then tried to accelerate too fast, the back end of the truck came out. I'm now trying to get back on the track without crashing into people and it's really hard when you're in a massive truck. So this was a bit of a disaster. So right now I believe I'm in last place. <laughs> so when I do these videos, when I do these these races, I am always, you know, I never restart a race because it I would like to do these, you know, I would like to do this this series as realistic as possible and in real life you would not be able to restart a race. So I never restart a race, it doesn't really matter if something bad happens. Now right now I'm hoping that I can catch up with a few of these guys and finish in a slightly better position. I'm feeling sl slight, slightly gutted but I didn't expect too much from my first uh, first race. I'm still really getting used to the truck and how it handles and the braking points. At least I'm not in last place. You see there, I nearly over accelerated again. You have to be super careful with that stuff. There's the guy right behind me. On the whole though, I was quite impressed with how how I was driving. I think I was driving pretty pretty well. If you, but yeah, these yellow tire walls, you have to be really careful. Especially the second one as you're exiting the corner, because I always seem to go, and I slowly, slightly overdid that corner, because I always seem to want to go really, really close to it. But if you're not that careful, then you'll end up hitting it, and that will be a bit of a, a disaster. But yeah, I am impressed with how, you know, most of the time I, I think I was driving quite well for my first race. As you can see, I'm in a black, gold and white truck. I quite like the look of my truck. Whoa. Now I am actually catching up with these guys ahead. I did find it quite hard to really catch up with the guys ahead fast because usually when I'm in a regular, car for example if this exact situation had happened in game stock car then i would have been braking very late to catch up i was i was doing that a little bit but you have to be really careful when you're in a big truck that you don't out brake yourself because it's so easy to do that you know anyway i've got right up behind some guys now well and i nearly over see the look at that wow now I was really annoyed there actually because I just got right up behind that guy and then I over accelerated and nearly uh, spun it around so that that's exactly what I was talking about where well, you have to be careful in third gear with the torque 
even in fourth a little bit, but you don't over accelerate because the truck has got so much torque, it will just spin the wheels like crazy in third gear, you know? But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping the more races that I do with this game, the more that I am, I'm able to get rid of the errors, the silly errors. I was kind of making quite a few uh, small little errors, but hey, at least I didn't completely wreck out, you know? At least I was able to keep going. And I, I will learn from this. Well, and again, so that's what I'm talking about. I, kind of hit that guy a bit too hard. I did actually kind of miss the breaking point to be fair, but I like how the AI kind of will have a go at you as well. They have a go back. They don't just allow you to go right past them. So I managed to get up into 17. And I'm trying to hunt down this guy, but we are really start. Well, this is actually the final lap right now, so I'm really running out of time. So this is the final lap. I'm doing s seven lap races because I'm hoping I can realistically make videos of the entire series. And if I try to make the, the race times like too high, I believe I won't have the time to actually do all, all of the races. So. And it's not a very, very short race. It gives you enough enough time to recover or, you know, it gives you a little bit of time, so. Okay, now, I, I was hoping if I could get by this guy, and again, I did a bit of the bumping and grinding. He was having to go back there. This time, he was able to stay ahead of me, and I'm aware this is the last lap, so it's, it's I overtake him now, or never, and it turned out to be never because we'd already crossed the start finish line. Now there you go, that's my first race in the Formula truck. Um, I have to say, like I said at the beginning, I am absolutely loving this game. This game is such an awesome game. Um, of course, because it's it is running on the R Factor 1 engine, of course it, you know, it isn't going to be the most amazing graphics, but I think for, you know, the I think they have been able to uh, squeeze a lot out of that engine, so I was quite impressed with the graphics, and it, the feeling of the truck just feels amazing. But anyway, like I said, I am going to do an actual review of this game at a later date. But um, there you go, that was my first race. Hopefully, the next race might be a bit better. Hopefully, but yeah. Okay, guys, see you. See you in the next one. Bye bye.